Hi, and welcome to Enchantment of Eternity's quick review for Orange is the New Black Seasons 1 through 3. This video is part of a series of videos I'm doing where I give a quick spoiler free review of a TV show currently airing, mainly for those who may not have seen it yet. This video is for the first three seasons of Orange is the New Black, which is a Netflix show about women in a minimum security prison. Season one of the show follows Piper Chapman, who is an average uh, upper middle class yuppie engaged to be married to an average guy who abruptly is arrested and sent to prison for smuggling drugs in her youth for her at the time lesbian lover Alex who coincidentally enough is sent to the same prison as her. So season one is pretty much all about Piper Chapman. Each episode has more flashbacks that explain her backstory and the prison storyline mostly follows her misadventures as she meets all the characters in prison. However, season two begins uh, following Piper's adventures, but soon ventures off to become more about the other characters in the prison, and each episode begins to tell flashbacks of one of the other women in the prison in an almost lost type fashion. And by the time we get to season 3, Piper is just another character. In fact, it could be argued she is less important character that the show doesn't even follow her much anymore and the show has completely transformed to being more about the ensemble cast of characters in this prison. Uh, it's not that I don't care for the other characters in the prison, in fact I think they did kind of destroy Piper's character in season 2 and make her really uninteresting. But that just seems kind of disconnected that the show starts out being about one thing and then eventually changes to be about a completely different thing. And the flashback a method of storytelling is very poorly used. Whenever they showed a flashback, it was incredibly boring and barely relevant to the plot. I was always tempted to skip over these. And this problem was much worse in the later seasons and made me realize how superior Lost was in its flashback format. Even when its flashback weren't that great, they were still miles ahead of any other TV show and this was a prime example of that. Of course, the other show this reminded me of is Oz, and uh, that also being about a prison. However, they made it clear this was a different show than Oz. Not only is it a female prison instead of a male one, it's also a minimum security, not a maximum security. So unlike Oz, um, where someone was getting shanked or raped every episode, uh, there was actually very little violence in this show and it was more about the character drama. In fact, in the first season they even had one of the guards tell Piper that this was not Oz. Of course, that was a meta statement to the audience as well. The show definitely had a cast of interesting characters, however, I think it did severely dip in quality as the show went on. The first season started out really good, but by the second season it became a bit tired and wasn't as fresh or as interesting, and the problem only increased in the third season. But more to the point, I think it's a mistake having this as a Netflix show released all at once, as I don't think this show is fit to be binge-watched and would be much more suitable for a weekly release format as it can become tiresome uh, when viewed repeatedly. I know people don't have to binge watch uh, Netflix shows, but it's usually what happens. And in the third season, I actually had to take several breaks and watch it over a couple of months because it just got old. And it wasn't a show that made me feel like I was dying to see the next episode. And it is better suited as something you just watch occasionally. Uh, the acting was always top notch and the writing was typically spot on, but I don't think they quite got the tone right, uh, which would seem a bit confused at times. Sometimes I couldn't tell if the show was trying to be a drama or an absurd comedy. That's not to say that a show or a movie can't do both, only to say that this show did a bad job uh, of binding the two genres together and at times they seemed to contrast one another and I couldn't quite tell what the show was going for. So my rating for Orange is the New Black, seasons 1 through 3 out of 10 is a 6 good. It was a good show that had some great character stories and I don't regret watching it at all. But it's not at all a must watch show and something that's better to watch occasionally every once in a while to fight away the boredom. Uh, some of its stories can be great while others can be contrived while at no point in time does this show scream greatness. 
As to the question as to will I watch the next season, the answer is, mm, I guess so, yeah, sure, why not? It's not like I'll be dying with anticipation for the next season to come out, but maybe a couple months after it's released, I'll, you know, I'll see something on the net that reminds me that the new season's out, so I'll slowly start to check it out over time, see how it's going, but it's not something I'm going to spend a lot of time being concerned about. So that's it for my quick review for Orange is the New Black. Be sure to check out my channel every Monday for a new quick review on a show currently airing. Make sure you subscribe so you can keep up with all that. And thanks a lot for watching.